This pass one to the provisions of our standing orders, and in particular, standing order number 47, paragraph 1, to make a statement on a matter of national concern. And this is the frequent accidents at Kaburengu uh, Junction in, uh, Bungoma, in uh, Kakamega County. First and foremost, on my own behalf, and that of my family and the people of Vihiga, I wish to register uh, our condolences to the families, relatives, and friends of the six accident victims that occurred on Saturday, the 21st of August, 2021. Mr. Speaker, this is an accident that claimed the lives of uh, five family members, uh, Mr. Richard Osimbo, his wife, their children, his sister-in-law, their relative Nyambaka, their relative uh, uh, Vincent, and their driver. Mr. Speaker, losing a family member is a very painful, is very painful. But losing five family members at the same time is excru excruciating, to say the least. I was able to attend the burial of the four of the victims in a Bwali village, Luanda sub-county in Vihiga County on Saturday the 4th September 2021. And Mr. Speaker, the sense of loss and pain was palpable. I condoled with the family and offered my contributions. It is unfortunate that a joyous activity of dowry process turned fatal. This family were traveling from Vihiga for some dowry negotiations, I believe, and they perished, they never got there. Mr. Speaker, this matter of Kaburengu Junction stretch of the Eldoret Tarubo Kaburengu Webuye Highway and accidents is a matter of great concern. Since 2017, there have been four major accidents on this stretch of the road. Of greater concern to me is that of the four accidents, Two have claimed lives of residents of Vihiga, and in both cases it was just family members. Apart from this one that happened on the 21st August 2021, another accident, Mr. Speaker, occurred at the same spot in December 2017 and claimed 14 lives of my people, 14 at the same time. Furthermore, on the 24th of December 2020, a truck with faulty brakes, hit a matatu, which in turn rammed into a road, roadside traders at the same spot, killing eight people. On the other hand, a power transformer on this spot of the road has been hit seven times since 2018. A search of the word Kaburengu, Mr. Speaker, on the internet automatically connects with accidents. Just try and search Kaburengu now on the internet and uh, you'll just see accidents. Mr. Speaker, honestly, from the above recent happenings, there is, there is need for urgent action to protect lives. This stretch of the road is not just a black spot, but a death trap to the road users. Certain issues demand proper interrogation. For, interrogation. for instance, the road design, road signage, speed bumps, road reserve, bus stops, and the existence of Kenya Power Transformer very close to the road. Mr. Speaker, during the burial of uh, the family members, I made a promise to the community that I would raise this matter here, and that the Senate, uh, being the house that cares about the lives of the people in this country, we will investigate and see what the government can do to rectify the spot so that we can save lives. There are matters that can be easily corrected by the government through the Kenya National Highway Authority, Kenha, Kenya Power, and the county government. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I believe a committee of this house should conduct a proper interrogation of this stretch of the road and recommend corrective measures as much as we are celebrating big infrastructure programs in the country, there is need to look into the safety of pedestrians and all types of vehicles. There is general concern in the country that the current roads 
have ignored making provisions for pedestrians, persons with disabilities, cyclists, motorbikes, bus stops, and food bridges. Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank you.